Good morning, Daily Family. So it's Sunday and the house looks like a disaster zone. Disaster. So I'm gonna show you basically my entire house and how it looks like we are bordering on like a hoarder type situation. Super not proud of it, but over the course of the next few months, I want to really like minimize and turn this kind of into a I'm not gonna say minimalistic because let's be real I will never be minimalistic I have too many like attachments to things um, I'm very sentimental and I just that's something I'm working on so little by little I'm trying to get rid of things before I show you my house and the disaster zone that is every single room and how much stuff each member of my household has accumulated, which in part is totally my fault. Um, I am going to show you kind of what I've already done. This uh, dresser here used to be completely overflowing with everything. And I'm doing this without makeup on and everything, so whatever, sorry. So this dresser here used to be completely overflowing with like my clothes and just when you would open the drawer, stuff would get like fall behind and then I couldn't close the drawer. So I was like, I'm over this. So I really, I have two full bags of clothes that are completely fine that I'm going to donate to Goodwill. And they've been sitting in my trunk for like four weeks. So here we go, here's the drawers. These are shirts. I have three nice piles of shirts. And shirts and then these are my bathing suits that I have yet to take out of the packaging and then my football jerseys I have Tom Brady and um, Gronk these are my jeans I have three nice piles of jeans these are shorts and then this is workout clothes and nighttime clothes then after I got back from Cape Cod one weekend I took a hot minute and I organized this lovely thing which was a complete mess so I'm going to show you what that looks like now I'm not gonna show you this drawer because this drawer is keepsakes that I need to go through for like a time capsule type situation but like it's just a bunch of old cards and handwritten notes from like my grandma and stuff so this is a sentimental drawer and I need to organize and kind of let go of a lot of stuff from here. These are um, workout bras, um, this gift card that my husband got me and I still have yet to use, and um, like other just random undergarments, right? But like workout bras that I wear for like actual bras now. These are underwear. I have like full bottomed underwear and then thong thongs. Bras, like actual bras. Socks, the sock drawer is kind of a mess, but I got rid of some stuff and I feel very proud of myself about it. Sorry, my battery was blinking so I changed it real quick. Um, okay, so this drawer is like jewelry and my like passport, the kids birth certificates my tarot card deck. Um, I had a pass from Universal um, that's in here. Some um, leather cleaner that I've never used. And then some little jewelry that Emerson got for her first birthday slash baptism. My Fitbit um, bands. And then this is really funny. But this is Prom Queen Tiara, Tiara, however you pronounce it, I say Tiara. And I won Prom Queen. You know how many years ago that was, but I still hold on to this. I really need to like learn how to let this go, but I'm not going to just yet. So I have that. I won Prom Queen, yep, I did. These are my maternity like nursing bras that I just have up here that I still need to like put away. But um, that big jewelry case that you saw in that drawer used to sit up top here, right here. 
and I kind of cleaned off the top of this dresser quite a bit, but it's still a disaster. So now that I've shown you that, let me show you literally every inch of my house. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but over the course of the next couple months, we're gonna be doing a, like a super tidy, deep clean, getting rid of a bunch of junk. So let's go. Come on, I'll show you. So this is my room. This is the door. When you walk into my room, you have my husband's junk all up there. Receipts, paperwork, just stuff. Like a sweatshirt, a fleece sweatshirt. It's the middle of the summer in Florida. Okay, his random shoes, workout clothes, the dog's bed is a mess. Here, you have a piece of luggage that I used like two weeks ago, still packed. I need to unpack it. Yes, we make our bed every single day. That's the only thing that doesn't bother me about this room. Up here, I have some of Grayson's stuff that we packed when we went up to Massachusetts three weeks ago. His soccer stuff, I don't know why this is here. I have like random paperwork and stuff. Another piece of like a packing cube that I have yet to unpack. My purse. This is my... This is my makeup situation with just random clothes all over it. I have backpacks there, a bra. All right, so I have shoes, I have workout stuff that's like spilling out of this corner here. And then just bras that I need to put away. A water bottle that's been there for like two days. I don't even know. Here in the bathroom, we have toilet paper that we didn't put away yet random stuff to refill soap. I have this that I have to put away. This closet is a disaster. I just have, like you can't even, it's not a walk-in closet anymore. You just kind of like reach in and hope for the best. All right, this is my living room. So when you walk in here, this is real life, people. I have like toys, random toys everywhere. This I just cleaned, so this is fine. This is our dining room table and it has like random stuff all over it. We have a pack of wipes on our hutch and it's that's full of garbage. So, toys, 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 <laughs> toys. This is like so embarrassing and our like, bookcase hi Boston didn't even see you there because you just kind of blend in with randomness our bookcase kind of became Grayson's like cubby hole for toys that I just these are all the, the clothes we just bought her and the clothes that she got for her birthday and baptism so I need to redo her drawers and put it put in the bigger clothes the bigger size clothes random water bottle I have random toys up there toys toys an explosion of toys and this is like my husband's way of cleaning it he just kind of like pushes it into this corner here and that's little Emerson sleeping <laughs> and then over here is a disaster of wires and more electronics and then more electronics just stuff all right so this is my disaster of a living room all right, let's go on to the kitchen. All right, so this is my kitchen. Toys, <laughs> random thing that Emerson pulled down that plays with, that she plays with. So I have like random paperwork here, random paperwork here. I don't know why Raid is sitting there, like where our food is, but that's a thing. We have packs of diapers and wipes just chilling there. To be fair, we got those yesterday, so we need to put them away. But then we have like just an explosion. At least these are clean. I just put that in there like five seconds ago. This stuff is from today that needs to be cleaned. This needs to go into recycling. But then we just have like a random explosion of like all of her like medicine and this needs to be pared down a lot because she doesn't use this stuff nearly as much. I don't even, I'm not even gonna show you this because this is just ridiculous. We have our pantry and then like all of our bags, like like shopping bags that we save and just garbage on top of our dryer. I don't even know. No, we don't have a cat. We've used this cleaned out, it's like cleaned out. There's no kitty litter in it anymore. We've used this as like the storage bin for our dog's food for like 
the past seven years. Random, I know, but that's our system. Boom. This is my kitchen. Yes. All right, Grayson's room. This is Grayson's room. This is a mess. Random toys and clothes all over the floor. His bookshelf is a disaster, okay? His toys and stuffed animals and just, it's everywhere. That's Emerson's. I don't know what that's doing in here. Unmade bed. We're gonna have to teach him how to make his bed. Okay, random toys, random toys. Um, he doesn't even use that anymore, so I don't even know why that's still here. Then, like, a disaster zone on top of his dresser. These are clothes that don't even fit him anymore. Shelf, that's part of a diaper cake that he got during my baby shower with him. That's like more than three years old right now. Goodbye. Oh, I must have grabbed another dead battery because my battery is blinking again and I already changed it maybe five minutes ago. Anyway, real quick, so that's my house. Emerson's sleeping so I can't show you her room. It's not that much of a disaster zone, but it's still kind of cluttered and I wanna make it more practical and useful for a, a room, for her room. But anyway, those are the major rooms in my house. The garage is a complete disaster as well because Pat just bottled his beer. So there's like all of that stuff everywhere. And then boxes that need to go out for recycling. So that's our house, but at least you see what we're starting with. So I'm just cleaning out and decluttering Grayson's room and I found this in one of the cubbies here in the bookshelf. And they're all like day in the life. And they used to do these by hand, like paper form, kind of, this is when he was an infant. <laughs> like the times he ate, um, when they changed his diaper, when he slept. So they would give us these, like in paper form. And so, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these because we don't need those. But this is the little pile that I'm keeping. This is his one of his first binkies that I did keep. I threw out all the other binkies. And then his little newborn cap, um, all of our bracelets, his little umbilical cord clip. Like, I'm weird, but I keep things like that. So like his first little lock of hair and then his first tooth. I'll keep these things. So this is the little pile that I'm gonna keep. And then this I'm gonna get rid of. And I'm gonna go through, those are all the clothes that don't fit him anymore. So now I'm gonna go through this and declutter that. So this is where we're at right now. <laughs> this was like everything in his closet. Talk about disaster. But look what I found. I made this sweet hat three years ago. Well, when I was pregnant with Grayson, for the Kentucky Derby and we went to a Kentucky Derby party and I was like very pregnant so I had some time on my hands to like on a weekend sit and make this but this is like goals right here this is my Kentucky Derby hat so I just have to show you so I have it on camera and then I can get rid of it because it's huge and it's taking up space in my son's closet so Here's the Kentucky Derby hat. There's all sorts of Easter eggs in this hat, like a bird, a random bird, and then also there's a horse. There is a horse in my Kentucky Derby hat. Look at this, this is goals. I made this hat, it's so funny. Whoa! Yep, goals, my Kentucky Derby hat. Bye bye. Another thing that I wanna get on camera so I can get rid of it is at Grayson's first real Halloween costume. This was a disaster. This shed so much, I can't even save it for Emerson because it was a disaster. And that's just the word of the day, folks. Um, yeah, this got in his eyes. It was so hot. It was hard to get him in and out and it just shed everywhere. So, goodbye. All right, this is what we're down to. This stuff is going to Emerson. This stuff I'm putting away. But I have the bookshelf organized as best I can with his glasses and his hats. I organized these shelves to be like the Harry Potter love fest. <laughs> um, and then this is his closet. 
Um, he doesn't wear diapers anymore, but we got a whole big pack of diapers from the last time he used them and it's full and we don't want to get rid of them because Emerson will use them eventually. Um, blankets. We don't really hang clothes, so I have a bunch of unused hangers, but we do have some of his costume stuff. And then we have more like hats, masks, that sort of thing there. And then that's all organized. I organized his stuffed animals like that. These things, that'll probably stay here, but this maybe go will go in Emerson's room made his bed, that stuff. There's all of the clothes that don't fit him anymore. And then his dresser, I, these are, these, this is actually my old doll. So this doll is like 31 years old, 32 years old. This is probably 27 or 28 years old. Um, again, like his little infant stuff and then some stuff I'm gonna put in Emerson's room. And then I redid these shelves too. So this is Grayson's room now. <laughs> All right, so I don't think I showed a before of Emerson's, but this is an after, and we took out the rocker and we put it in the living room. But this is Emerson's after, and I think that I did a really good job. Um, I cleaned off her bookshelves there, and her drawers are all organized. Um, and then, like her little medicines that she's using currently, so I think I did a really good job. I like this little nook, like the little baby doll nook with of course an at-at walker. Um, the closet is still not the greatest because these are bags of clothes, both Grayson and Emerson's that don't fit them anymore. And they're just kind of hanging out there waiting to be put into storage bins in the garage. Um, same thing with this. But these are all the things that we have like quick access to. And then um, there are like crib sheets and stuff. And then we have R2D2 and C3PO, of course, in her closet now instead of out. But yeah, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the way things are. We don't really use her closet much for anything other than just diapers and wipes. But I think that I did a really good job today. Um, I'm gonna show you like the overall after after of Grayson's room now too because I'm gonna go vacuum it and then I'll show you the after. All right, here's the final final of Grayson's room. Got this all cleared off. I just vacuumed the floor in here. And there's the final final. Won't look like this come tomorrow but here it is, and he, this is like his little movie cozy corner now. Yep. Awesome. Is it your little cozy corner? Is that your little reading corner? Yeah, it's a blanket corner. You guys are cute. <laughs> Is that your little cozy corner? <laughs> Alright, this is the living room. There's still a few toys scattered a little bit, but we did a little reorganizing here because this thing was in Emerson's room and now the rocker is out in the living room. There used to be a toy chest here, but now each of the kids have their own toy chest. We went out and bought another one today at Target. So we did a little reorganizing. This is now an empty space. We put the Ikea chair over there for the time being. We put the rocker here, and that's where it'll stay. We put her little child prison there. She's not gonna use it for too much longer, but for the time being, it's there. And so like, 
This is our like very cozy living room situation. So yeah, so I think I did a good job today. All right, so the kids are going down for bedtime right now. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye and good night, and I'm gonna end the vlog here. And I hope that you enjoyed kind of this first part of the series of minimizing and clearing clutter and cleaning our house. So I hope that you all have a fantastic night and I'll talk to you guys later. Right, Bye.